Uh, yeah, these facilities all go through a custom technical assistance process. Um, and so what that means is the entire building is looked at as a whole, um, the, the whole system. So the interaction between the lights and the HVAC system is even accounted for. So we don't just have a prescriptive incentive uh, for, for any piece of equipment. Um, still, we have to identify what an energy measure is in a building, energy efficiency measure. So just some hallmarks of, of what, how we think about that. Um, you've got to be saving energy compared to a baseline. I think that's pretty obvious. Um, the baseline has to be realistic for your building, has to be constructible, has to actually meet your loads. Um, and there's got to be some, well, one, another hallmark is there's, there's a uh, incremental cost associated with that piece of equipment you're purchasing. And then finally, one of our, uh, we, our, our baseline is set as what we define as an industry standard practice building. So a small building, 10,000 square feet, is not going to have the same baseline as a 250,000 square foot building. And they might not have, they won't have the same HVAC systems and these things. So <clears throat> is there an incentive available for a standalone dehumidification system? I'm not gonna just say no to that because I think it depends on the situation, but I will say we've got to show that if you're using standalone dehumidification, that the specific thing that you're using to do that is a more efficient alternative to another standalone dehumidification system. Maybe it's a split system. I don't know, Since there's some, there has to be some justification and we have to be able to vet that and show the savings compared to baseline for that um, in, in a custom analysis. So uh, I'll say I haven't, I haven't actually processed a, a, an incentive for, the, uh, for, for a standalone dehumidification system. So in this uh, uh, customer example, um, it's a fairly typical grow in terms of size and uh, canopy area. Um, it's, uh, you see the specs here. I'll just give you a second to review. Yeah. Um, this is the air handling related stuff. And I highlighted in green the, right. measures, the measures that Brendan was talking about. Um, what are the things that this grow is doing that's going to save energy that the program administrators are going to then help technical assistance energy model and then incentivize. So this, yeah. this grow, it was interesting, didn't use um, economizer, even though we've talked about some different economizer strategies, but they did take advantage of several different types of HVAC um, systems that were incentivized. So um, yeah, it's a good, a good point because we're still working with this customer, Gretchen. So that's mm -hmm. also something just because you work with us in the beginning, if you, if you don't have the CapEx to invest in energy efficiency at that point, we can come back and work with you to retrofit your building as well. So we're still working with this customer to maybe put in an economizer cycle or, or, or uh, decrease their condenser water temperatures from their cooling tower, which increases the efficiency of the chiller. So uh, the first engagement is just the first engagement. It doesn't have to be the last.